Hello, this is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Former, and this message goes out to Donald J. Trump, the Republican nominee for the President of the United States of America. Uh, well, Donald, I'm just going to be straight out with you. I'm not too... I, I don't... I don't really have that much faith and trust in you. Please don't take that personally. But uh, I, I'm just going to tell you, I'm not, I don't have a hundred percent trust and faith in you. I, I do have some, a little. It's at least somewhere between thirty to fifty percent. Uh, I did watch the primaries. People were live streaming the pro. I mean the uh, when you were speaking uh, in Columbus, Ohio, and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. That's the state that I live in, and I was impressed with uh, your uh, speech to the uh, the people of Pennsylvania and Columbus, Ohio. Um, well, one of the reasons why. Where I'm at, where I'm at with trusting you and having the uh, the faith, the percentage of faith, the the thirty to fifty percent uh, faith. You're new to the political table. I don't know if you would be a true statesman, which will be a the people's champion, or you'll be a straight up politician. And that means if you're a politician, you're going to be playing with our liberties, freedoms, and prosperity, and our right to due process. Well, um, but th there are some things that I agree with you on, is uh, the illegal, the illegally uh, Mexican Im immigration, or any type of illegal immigration where you don't come into the country legally. I think it would be good to heavily check them out. We we do have a, uh, a proper system that is the, which was the original wall. wall. You want to build a wall, I think it would take too much money for us to build. And I don't think Mexico is going to build it. I disagree with building a wall. We do have an original wall. Uh, the immigrations, we just have to loot, loot out the the uh, the immigration, uh, loot out the uh, the corruption. Just call it out and look for it and fix the actual wall that we have. And also, we have our border patrol. I think we have to uh, root out the uh, the corruption there, where they would take a payoff to look the other way, to allow these illegals to come across the border. We have to root out all the corruption from within, and that will fix the actual wall that we have. And a lot of people think that you're a racist towards Muslims and, and, and Mexicans. Well, I know for a fact down, down in Mexico, the the, the states that border Mexico, the uh, county sheriffs are having problems with the immigration because, well, it's either our border agents aren't doing their jobs, they're just, like I said, looking the other way, letting them come across the border, and it's also when they do come across the border, it looks like they may be going through proper channels, but they're not. The people in the offices, they're just allowing these, looking at the paperwork and not approving it and not looking at the individual if they're going to commit a terrorist act for whomever they uh, represent, if it's like Laraza or uh, Islam, uh, what's that, ISIS, if they're going to be representing ISIS or uh, Al-Qaeda, uh, that should just be heavily looked into to see if the individual will do harm. And there are drug dealers in the Mexican Mafia 
that they do come over our border and they kidnap American citizens, um, the, um, any American that lives in this country, they, they kidnap American people and then they offer a ransom to the family. They end up pay, the family ends up paying the ransom and they end up getting their uh, family back in a, in a body bag all cut up in pieces or in a burl. That's the truth and, and sometimes they when when American when the American people go over to Mexico they get kidnapped by these drug lords or uh, or the Mexican mafia that's also an affiliation with the with the Mexican drug cartel uh, they kidnap them down in Mexico if they happen to go down there for vacation uh, but also uh, I just want to clear things up with the American people there are people that escape the jails the Mexicans that that any Me Mexican individual or people that come from these prisons from Mexico they escape then they illegally enter the country and they decide to murder a, a, a a deputy from any sheriff department or law law enforcement or they just happen to victimize just normal everyday people that live in this country like they rape them then they murder them uh, the press just likes to slant things and I understand that they do it to other individuals they did it to Ron Paul he was a people's champion and a statesman and he was a true representative to we the people and he honored his oath. But they just, they, they, they figure out a way to slant things of what you, what, what you have you, what you have been saying. It makes perfectly sense to me that when the news media gets a hold of it or a news personality gets a hold of it, they just turn it around. Warping it, sounding like you're a bad person. The media doesn't like you, and they are controlled. A lot of America, there's a good percentage of American people that realize that they can't trust the media because they slant the truth, or they actually tell lies. People just don't trust the mainstream media here here in our country anymore. I don't trust it. I have to go to an alternative an alternate source like Infowars.com or the Josh Telly Show. Um, and this is, and there's other things. I, I do appreciate you defending the Second Amendment and you heavily endorse the NR, or the NRA is endorsing you and you accepted that endorsement from the National Rifle Association and you support the Second Amendment. And I truly believe that you uh, understand the Second Amendment. It's not about hunting. It's it's what happens if our uh, government goes rogue and tyrannical and turns on the people. That's when we have the gun or a rifle to defend ourselves and to uh, properly change our government back to the way it should be, back to the ideas of 1789, the Bill of Rights, the Constitution, and the Declaration of Independence. And speaking of the, the Second Amendment and the, uh, the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, please read this document and get to understand it yourself because most Americans don't understand it whenever they hear an individual say that you don't understand the, the, the Constitution a lot of Americans cheer them and they don't even understand the Constitution I'm beginning to understand this document a little a lot more better than I have in the past I have a pocket Constitution right here I've read it from the beginning to the end and regarding to the Second Amendment, it shall not be questioned. And we should have a heavily, 
a properly regulated militia, armed militia, and the armories are supposed to be open. That's where the regulation, regulating the, uh, the armory to give proper money flow to the armory to keep it open and to appoint or elect people to keep the armory running so we could have a properly armed militia, a properly regulated militia. But please read this document, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights. It's all in this book, this little pocket Constitution. And since we're on the Constitution, these trade deals that, like NAFTA and GATT, um, and the TDP, we shouldn't go into the TDP, the, T, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the TPP. Uh, it will be another disastrous trade deal. It also violates our sovereign, being a, a sovereign nation, being a free individual. Uh, and NAFTA and GATT, it violates the Constitution. We're not having a free, a good, equal trade deals with these with NAFTA and GATT. It has destroyed our job industries. A lot more jobs have gone overseas because we've gotten into NAFTA and GATT in the early to mid to late 1990s with these trade deals. Bill Clinton signed us on to these trade uh, trade bills. It, it actually, along with the T, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, violates Article 1, Section 10 of the U.S. Constitution. That's why I urge you to read this Constitution to understand it. And it's also the common law. It represents common law, not statutory law. And also, I would like to recommend to you, Donald Trump, about whenever something happens on a federal level, to, to, to investigate. Don't have our government, our civil servants, investigate themselves. You have the power with executive orders. You could file an executive order to have an independent investigation for the people and by the people private uh, in, individual, uh, no, an independent and private investigation from, uh, by the people, handed over to the people, we the people like myself, friends, family, and, 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 and neighbors, just file an executive order for an independent private investigation. Please don't have the invest please don't have yourself or the, the government investigated. Just file an executive order for a private independent in investigation. It's very constitutional. It represents the, the, uh, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh amendments of the Bill of Rights in this Constitution book. And it won't violate anybody's right to due process. It won't. It will be an Article Three court. It will be constitutional. It won't be a de facto kangaroo court with Chicago courtroom tactics. Read the Constitution. Okay. Something else about the uh, Constitution, the Fourth Amendment. Uh, the government has been violating our uh, civil our liberties, our freedom, and our prosperity with the Patriot Act and the NDAA. Rand Paul has been heavily, since he's become Senator of Kentucky, he's been fighting for our right to privacy the, regarding the Fourth Amendment. Um, just a recommendation, you could talk to his people and talk to Rand Paul himself and be advised about the Fourth Amendment. Once again, it's the Constitution, sir. Uh, just please 
be advised by his people and, and learn and have an open mind re regarding the Fourth Amendment, the Constitution. Okay, uh, there is uh, one other thing. What, what, if you do win the presidential seat, which is the highest seat in America, uh, you're going to have to have a, a presidential cabinet. I would recommend uh, recruiting people out of your party. And if there's anybody within the Republican Party that's constitutional, that goes by constitutional values, recruit that individual, if it's a man or a woman. Um, to advise you, uh, I would recommend people from the Constitution Party. They heavily uh, oppose being in the United Nations and being in NATO. And I, I'm, I'm glad that you mentioned in your speeches in Ohio, Columbus, Ohio, and um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, about NATO. They should pay up. And if they don't pay up, we should just get out of it. That would be constitutional to get out of NATO because NATO is ran by the UN. NATO is a limb of the United Nations, and we should also get out of the United Nations. It's not our place to be. It's unconstitutional. It will be very constitutional to get out of, the, out of NATO and the United Nations. Uh, I would say... Uh, talk to uh, Chuck Baldwin. He was the uh, Constitutional Party nominee that ran in 2008. And, and, and he's very well aware how these elites think. It would be wise to be advised by him. Maybe you could have a, a spot on, his, on within your vice presidential cabinet. And I, and I believe he's a very trustworthy individual. He understands how these elite, how these these globalists that believe in globalism, not in Americanism, how they think. This is what you're going up against. You're going to have to talk to him, be advised by him, and have an open mind, please. And also uh, talk to people from the Reform Party a good majority of the people in the Reform Party wants reform and it wants to honor the common law and the Constitution. This U.S. Constitution. Uh, you could probably even recruit Chuck Baldwin into your cabinet for a certain position. Just converse with him and his people, Pastor Chuck Baldwin. Uh, and the best way to get in, to get a hold of him is uh, talk to Darren Castle. He's the uh, 2016 nomination winner for his party, the Constitutional Party. Like I said, they're against being in NATO. They want to get out of uh, the UN. And also, educate yourself on Agenda 21. It also violates Article 1. Section 10 of the Constitution. George Bush signed us on to uh, into Agenda 21 in a private meeting in some foreign country with a bunch of other foreign nations that signed on to Agenda 21. And he violated Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution. And the reason why I say pe why you should recruit people out of your party that believe it and people within the Republican Party as well that believe in the Constitution because you gotta you can't trust people I feel that you can't trust a good percentage of Republicans they're neocons posing as patriots we saw that in Ted Cruz I don't think he's gonna get reelected as senator he and the way he did his dirty, dirty tricks towards you and said this and said that and done that. Uh, just pick people that you could trust.